Hi guys, this video is about how to draw 360 degree background in Photoshop. This is a very potential technique that could be used in concept art, layout, storyboarding, etc. Basically, anywhere you need perspective. I use this technique in my films. Check it out if you are interested. Thank you. There are only three steps for basic setup. First, keep the height and the width to be one half when you create a new file. Secondly, drag the spatial grid into Photoshop. It will be super important to your letter. By the way, I made the grid in Blender. I'll put the link below. Feel free to use. Lastly, find this button and click. You can use hard key V to rotate around. So that's it. This is the basic setup. Next part is about how I personally use it. You can take it as an example. First of all, double click spherical map. A new file will pop up. Now create a black layer in the second file. You can come back and draw on the first original file. When you draw on any of them, it will automatically reflect on the other one. The grid is a reference to help us find perspective. If you close the grid layer on the second file, it won't show or affect your drawing anymore. All tools are still functional. Like, you can create layers with different modes. The second way to use it Let's go back to the original file. After you find a good angle, you can lock the 3D layer and then create and draw on the normal layer above. Now the grid will just be a perspective reference without influencing your drawing. I find this method is super helpful for storyboarding and layout. And if you change your mind, just combine the layers. Render! Here's a background I drew for Harper's Day. Let's take it as an example. Find and click Export Panorama. It will be saved as JPEG file. First, let's see how to use it in After Effects. Find Project Settings. Make sure it's this option. Import the file. Make a new composition. Now open VR Composition Editor. Choose and 3D edit. Here you go. You could adjust the settings here to move, or you could use camera tool to move. I open two views. In this case, I can be more clear where the camera is. Now we can see keyframes. Here is the final result. It can be exported as any video format. Last but not least, how to upload as an interactive VR video. Open Premiere. Import the JPEG image that we exported from Photoshop before. Extend the time to any length you want. When you export, make sure to click Video is VR. Then go to your Vimeo channel and just upload the video as usual. After it's finished, play the video. Now everyone could rotate and see the VR video. It is the same when you upload your video to YouTube. 
I will keep the two test videos on my channel. Welcome to check it out and have fun with it. Thank you for watching. And feel free to add me on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to get inspired by seeing how everyone uses the technique to create your own world. Excuse my accent, I added subtitles. Hope it could be more clear. Bye.